Our word problems today are comparison. We're comparing how much of something someone has versus another person. Or we're doing, I did this and they did that. Or I own this and they own that. So it's all a matter of comparing numbers, basically within people. All right, so first thing we need to know is how to set up these problems. Because the biggest part of word problems is knowing how to start, where to begin, what does my variable stand for, okay? So here's the type of problem that we have today. Mike and Pedro walked 10 miles. All right, so we know that together they did 10 miles. So I'm just going to draw a little diagram right here. 10 miles. Now, they didn't start and finish together, okay? What happened is that Pedro walked four more miles than Mike. So basically, Pedro walked to Mike's house, and that took him four miles. And then they walked together, and a grand total walked was 10. So looking at this, the, let's focus on the black um, words. Who walked more, who walked less? That's what I need to know. Who walked more, who walked less? Pedro walked more. Okay, so Pedro walked more. All right, so these aren't on your paper, so we're just watching. That means that Mike walked less. Now purple, look at purple. The person with less will be our variable. Okay. Can we figure this out in our head? They walked a total of 10 miles. Pedro did four more than Mike. So that means that Mike walked just a little bit and Pedro walked all this long distance. So my question to you is, can you figure out in your head who walked what without doing any equation? Let's just try and guess and check this. Together they walked 10. How many did each person walk? Let's try with 10. What two numbers make 10? 6 and 4. 5, 5. 6 and 4. What else? 8 and 2. 8 and 2. What else? 3 and 7. 9 and 1. 9 and 1. Okay. So here's what I need. I need to know... Are any of those numbers four more than the other one? Are any of those numbers four more than the other number? Yeah, seven and three, three and two. Okay, seven and three and three and seven. I like it, so I'm gonna circle that. So I could say that one person walked three miles and the other person walked seven, and together that's 10, is that true? Okay. But I can't just guess and check because the word problems make it a little bit more difficult. So you all said that Mike, Mike walked less. And in purple, I said to you, the person with less will be our variable. So since Mike walked less, I'm going to make him our variable. Mike is going to be M, Mike. M will be M. Mike will be himself. Now P stands for Pedro. Okay. I just said, Pedro walked four more. How do I write that? If there's four more than Mike, what do I put for Pedro? Plus seven. A plus four. Four more than who? Mike. Four more than Mike, right? Okay. Together, they walked 10 miles. So here's how I'm going to write together. Pedro plus Mike equals 10 miles. Do you agree you. that that looks right? Well, I don't want two variables in my math problem ever. I want them to both be one variable that I can solve easily. We don't want a P and we don't want an M. But over here, I said what P was. P was M plus 4. And over here, I said what Mike was. Mike was Mike, M. So I need to do substituting, and I need to be replacing here. Instead of P, Pedro, what should I write? 
Mm. What did I circle in red? What did M plus four? That's going to stand for Pedro because Pedro did walk four more than Mike. And then what's Mike going to be? Plus. So instead of this purple M, I'm going to put what I circled in red. Well, M. Pedro is M plus four. Mike is M. Together, they walked 10 miles. The reason that I can't have a P in my equation and an M in my equation is because which one am I going to work out? Which one am I going to get by itself? Okay, now we're here. M plus 4 plus M. I need to combine like terms. My M's are like terms. Combine like terms. They're on the same side. What is that? M plus M. Or squigglies. 2M. Perfect. And what else do I have to put on the left side? Plus 4. Plus 4. Okay. You're going to get a lot of these math problems today that are this format. How do I get, how do I start getting the M eventually alone down here by itself? Subtract 4. Wow, my pen. Okay, how do I get M alone? Three. M equals what? Three. Mike walked three miles. Didn't we circle three and seven up here all along? Because the math problems aren't always going to be so easy where you can just plug in numbers in your head. And ten is really low number. Okay, how much did Pedro walk? Remember he walked four more? What's four more than three? I heard you, but gotta have more people help me out. Seven. Do Mike and Pedro's mileage add up to 10? Okay, so we're good. The one thing that I want you to remember is in purple. That's why I put a star around it. The person with less will be our variable. Okay. Together, Sarah and Jen have six bucks. Sarah has twice as much money as Jen. How much money does each person have? The person with less will be our variable. Who has less, Sarah or Jen? Read it. Together, Sarah and Jen have six. Sarah has twice as much. Sarah has more or less? More. More. And has less. The person with less will be our variable. What's, what are we going to solve for? An S or a J? J. J. So J is going to be J. Jen is going to be Jen. She's going to be herself. And Sarah is the one that we're going to have to switch around. Sarah has twice as much as Jen. What's twice as much mean? Double. Times Double. Times, times Someone said it up front, too. How do I write double Jen? So then what would I put if I said she has double Jen, twice as much as Jen? What am I going to put in for Sarah? Double Jen. Two. Or what person? Two J. We are referring to Jen because Jen had less. That's the focus. All right, Jen plus Sarah equals six dollars, right? What should I put now? Instead of J, what should I write? Well, I'm, I don't have to substitute anything for J, because Jen is Jen. Instead of Sarah, what should I write? 2J. Perfect. What's a J plus two more J's? Good. And what's my last step to get Jen alone? Two what? Two miles? Two cars? Dollars. So Jen has two dollars. So what does Sarah have? 
double. Plug it back in. 2 times J. 2 times Jen. Jen has 2 bucks. Plus 2 times 2. 4. Okay. The biggest thing to remember when we're doing these problems is that the person that has the less of anything is going to be themselves, is going to be the variable. That's why Jen equaled Jen. Jen had less. All right. On to number one on your paper. Practicing it. We're going to do the same steps for every problem, one, two, three, and four. We're going to really master this today. Two brothers counting their money found that together they had 186 bucks. So that means that together, John and Charles, John plus Charles, had $186. So write that down first. John plus C, J plus C equals 186. Okay, now we have to figure out who had what. John had five times as much as Charles. Okay, John has more, Charles has... Does John have more or does John have less? I, I just said that, but that doesn't mean it's right. John had five times as much as Charles. So now let's focus on who has less. That's our variable. John has five times as much as Charles. Charles has less. Charles has less. John has more. John has five times as much. That's a lot more money. So then, just like we did on my first two samples, I need to write a J and I need to write a C and I need to then put what my equation is going to start to look like. The person that has less is going to be themselves. It's going to be the variable that we use in our equation. And you just said it, Charles has less. So everybody for Charles put C. C is C. Charles is Charles. Okay, then for John, John has more. And read the sentence. Underline what's important. John has five times as much. Five, well, I'm focusing on C. I'm focusing on Charles. He has five times as much as Charles. So whatever Charles has, multiply that by five because Charles has less. Since Charles has less, you have to multiply it by 5. So what am I going to put for J? C times 5, or 5 of Charles. So put that down, 5C. Make sure you're writing what I'm writing. John has 5 times C. Charles has Charles himself. OK. For J, I'm going to use what I circled in purple. For C, I'm going to use what I circled in purple. I am substituting in my new info that I just found out, which means you have to write an equation with the purple circles information in it. So write this equation, J plus C. What should I put instead of John? 5C. That's John. Plus sign in the middle. What should I put for Charles? C, because I circle it in purple. Charles is Charles. And how much together do they have? OK. We have written our equation. You cannot have a J and a C both at the same time in these equations, because what are you going to solve for? So I have five Cs. I add one more C. How many C's do I have all together? OK. Next step, write that down. OK, to solve, what do you do? Do it on your paper. You should know without even me having to tell you, seriously. And do that division on your own. And you do it on your own like this. On the side of your paper, you make it the division problem. And you write it out. And you work it out. So 
So I'm solving for C. I'm solving for Charles. Charles has less money. Charles has how much money went, did you get when you divided? Thir what? 310. But together they only have 186. Oh, 31. Okay. Just an extra zero. And we could figure that out easily by saying, oh, 310 sounds high. Let me, let me recheck my math. Easy. Charles has less. He has $31. Great. That's what C is, 31. But what's John? John is 5C. That means you have to do the math. 5 times C. C is 31. 5 times 31. What is it? On the side of your paper, 5 times 31. Okay. Looks like this. 31 times 5. 155. Okay. And then double check yourself. Does John have five times as much? Do they both add up to 186? Yeah. yeah, they both add up to 186. I did my math problem right. Okay, number two. Let's underline again what we need to know. Gus had three times as many clothes as Fran. There it is. Three times as many clothes as Fran. So obviously, Gus has a lot of clothes. He's a stylish guy, huh? So Gus, does Gus have more or does Gus have less? Gus has more. more. He does. He has three times as more. Hey, there's going to be a three in my equation that I'm going to multiply by. Fran has less. The person that has less is our variable. Over on the side, please put G and F, our two people. And this is the part that was just said was difficult. How do I know what to write now? I will tell you. The person that has less is the variable. That means that Fran is going to be Fran. Fran will be F. So put F for Fran. Now I need to read the sentence that I underlined to help me with the rest. Gus has three times as many clothes. So what do I write for Gus? Three times as many clothes. Three times F. Perfect. Triple Fran. He has triple Fran. Awesome. Okay, now, together they have... 280 pieces. Oh, wait. Look at the math problem, guys. Fran has 72. We're told what Fran has. So for Fran, let's put in a 72. The, the sentence says exactly how many Fran has. So this won't be bad. My math equation has to be the two people added together. Gus plus Fran equals 288. 288. Gus plus Fran equals 288. All right, for G, now we're substituting in. What did I say that G was? Plug it in directly. 3F, because I read the sentence. So instead of G, I'm going to write down, I'll do it in red. That's Gus. I only want one variable. I don't want a G and an F together. Plus sign goes in the middle. What's Fran? We actually know her number. 72. You can solve this math problem. Go ahead and solve it on your own. What did you guys do first to solve this? New people. Subtract what? 72. Yep. 8 minus 2 is one, uh, 6. 8 minus 7, there's the 1. 2 minus nothing is 2. 3F equals 216. What What'd you get when you divided 3 divided by 216? Huh. 
Well, didn't we already know that Fran had 72? Well, let's use that information because look at what the question says. How many pieces of clothing does Gus have? Plug in our info. Fran has 72. Gus has three times Fran. Three times that, three times 72. 72 plus 72 plus 72. What'd you guys say? Well, we practiced setting it up, but we also needed to plug in because we don't care about Fram. The question says, the last sentence of the math problem, how many pieces of clothing does Gus have? We only care about Gus. Okay. Number three, I want you to try this with the people at your table, and here's what I need from you. I need to know boys is what, girls is what. I will tell you right now that boys plus girls equals 672, right? That's what it says, first sentence. There are twice as many boys as girls, so I'll underline that. You guys need to pick the... Gender that has less. Which gender has less, and that's going to be what you focus on. So with your three brains or your four brains, whoever's there at your table, go ahead and get started. Write it on the... Put what you got for B and what you got for G. Check it and watch what he writes. To your G for boys. So twice the amount of girls... That's how many boys there are. And then girls is girls. So, that's perfect. Who wants to finish writing the equation on the screen? And then go. Next step says what? Um, What's the answer? Yeah? You guys agree so far? Okay. Keep going. Vanessa is writing. And then that's all I got for the Okay, equation. cool. What's the last step then? Because she's, she's hit her. Oh, wait. Yeah. Three. So someone, what'd you get? 224. Agreed with him? Before we write it down permanently? Okay, 224. Mm -hmm. There are 224 girls. So we knew that there were less girls. So how many boys are there? Did anyone do that math where they said double the girls? What'd you get? 448. 448 boys... 224 girls. Does that add up to 672? Yep. We did it right. Okay. Try the last one. Again. On your own. Let me wander around and help. Here we go. No, wait. No, it's perfect. I want you to write A and O and then do your equation. It looks perfect. Okay, watch him as he writes. The smaller number is the variable. Oh, there are less oranges. So that's my... Four more than oranges. Perfect. So there's my apples plus oranges equals 52. Because these oranges added up. 
this plus this. Four plus O, plus O. That says 2O, not 20. Perfect. He's, good. He's getting it right. I got 2O. He got 2O. Because these O's. Okay. And then I say, and there's four more apples. Like four more is what? Let me do it in purple. Oranges is 24. How many apples were there then? There's four more than 28. Together that needs to add up to 52, and it does. Make sure that you've got that. I mean, he was writing slow enough. You should have been copying as he went, so... The reason that there was two O's is because this is apples. Apples plus oranges equals 52. But instead of apples, I put four plus O. For oranges, it was just itself. O. So star, star, O plus O, two O. There's where you get the two O from. Okay, so what I did is I have on the back side four problems for you for homework. Okay, so turn it over. Nothing is more difficult. Nothing is different. Oh, that's not good. So what I, what I need is for you to practice with this. April and Jenny drove 520 miles. So I'm going to draw a little diagram. Jenny drove 80 miles more. Remember, more means plus sign. More means a plus sign. So then what I need you to do is I need you to April drove less. Jenny drove more. The person that drove less is your variable. Who drove less? April. April will be April. A, A. A equals A. And then you, on your own, have to do 80 more. So now we're talking about Jenny. Jenny drove 80 more than April. It's not 80 times April. All right. You're working till the bell rings. Yep. 